Hey guys, welcome to Cutesy Drawings. Today I'll be drawing this cute devil version of Kuromi. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. With this drawing, I'll be erasing some lines, so I'd recommend drawing in a pencil first. Okay, let's first start off by drawing the shape of the head. Let's draw a large curve across the top here. Now from the left side, let's curve it down and in. And now for the right, let's curve it down and in. And now let's connect them at the bottom. Next, let's move in and let's draw a curve inside on the right. Now let's do the same thing on the left, but bigger like this. And now from the top, let's draw an angle down and then back up. Next, let's draw the eyes starting with the right one. Let's start with the curve up and then a U shape underneath on the left. And then add an eyelash on the top right like this. Next, let's do the same thing for the left eye. And now let's color both of the eyes in black. Next, in between the eyes, towards the right, let's draw the nose with an oval shape. And now let's hop down and draw the mouth. Let's start on the left, and let's draw a curve over and up. And then a U-shaped curve underneath for the shape of the mouth. Next, add three lines inside for the teeth. And that's it for the face. Next, let's move up and draw the skull. We'll start with an oval shaped curve that's open at the bottom. Then underneath, let's draw two lines down. and then connect them at the bottom. Now inside, let's draw two ovals for the eye sockets. And then at the bottom, two small lines. Next for the head, let's add the ears. On the top left, let's draw an angle up and then a line out from the left side of the head. Now let's draw an angle up from both sides. And now a circle at the end to close it off. And now let's draw the right ear in the same way. And lastly for the head, let's draw the devil horns coming out from the top. From the top of the head, let's draw two angled lines up. Then connect them at the bottom. 
Now the top is at a triangle. And let's draw the right horn in the same way. And then color both of the horns in black. And that's it for the head. Let's move down and draw the body next. Let's start by drawing the left hand. At the bottom of the face, let's draw a curve up, over, lapping the mouth, and back down. And then let's erase any of the overlapping lines inside. Now underneath the head on the left, let's draw a small curve. And then a larger curve for the bottom of the arm. Next, let's draw her collar. Underneath the head on the left, let's draw a V-shaped point, and then another one to the arm. And two more points on the right side of the arm. And then at the end of each point, let's add a circle. Next, underneath on the left side, let's draw a curve down. And now let's draw the leg. Underneath, we'll leave a gap and let's draw a curve across here. And now let's draw the foot with a curve down and back up like this. Next, let's hop over to the right side and let's draw a long curve across for the belly. Then underneath, we're gonna draw a curve for the leg. And then one more curve for the foot. And that's it for the body. Let's move over and draw the right hand now. Let's start under the right side of the collar and draw an angle down. And then a curve below it here for the other side of the arm. Next, from the top, let's draw a curve around for the thumb. Now underneath the thumb, let's draw two bumps down. And then curve it back up like this. Now in that gap at the bottom, let's draw another curve to close off the hand. And lastly, on the right side of the thumb, let's draw a curve out and back in for one more finger. Next, let's draw the pitchfork in our hand. Let's start with a long angled line across the hand like this. And the same thing to the right. And then connect them at the bottom. Next, let's erase the lines overlapping the two fingers here like this. Next, let's move to the top end and let's draw an upside down heart.
Next at the top, let's draw a large U shape across. And the same thing inside. And again, let's add upside down hearts at the end of each one. And lastly for the pitchfork, let's color it in black. Next, let's move over to the left side and draw the wing. From the left side of the head, let's draw a curve up towards the ear. And then another curve up and out like this. Now underneath, let's draw three curves down towards the collar to close off the wing. And lastly, let's draw the tail. Underneath the wing, starting from the body, let's draw an S-shaped curve out like this. And the same thing underneath. And then let's draw an arrow shape at the end. And that's it for Devil Karomi, now let's quickly color it in. And done, hope you enjoyed drawing along with me and please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching!